Rahul Gandhi takes the lead to rally opposition. Congress hails historic day 2024 trailer. Hello and welcome to Inventiva. This is Palak Yadav presenting to today's big news. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Tuesday took his attempts to rally the opposition together one step far, uh, further by chairing a breakfast meeting with leaders and MPs of like-minded parties. In his first such interaction with the opposition without Congress President Sonia Gandhi present, Rahul again underlined a newfound readiness to assume the lead in taking on the government as well as reaching out to other parties, two shortcomings he is often accused of. On Tuesday, the carefully planned interaction over breakfast with around 100 opposition MPs from 15 parties, including the Congress at Rahul's invitation, was followed by a surprise cycle rally to Parliament. Earlier, Rahul had attended two meetings of the opposition where the parties agreed to coordinate the protests in Parliament over Pegasus and the farm laws. In the evening, the Congress declared Tuesday as a historic day, saying this is the trailer for 2024. Rahul put out a video of his engagement with the opposition leaders prepared by his team. At the meeting, he said, We represent 60% of the voice of the country and we are treated as if we represent nobody. When the government shuts us up in parliament, humiliates us, not just humiliating us as members of parliament, they are humiliating and shutting up the voices of the people of India and the majority of the voice of India. Seeking opposition unity, Rahul added, the more this voice unites, the more powerful this voice will become and more difficult it will become for the BJP to suppress it and the RSS to suppress it. Rahul's outreach coincides with murmurs among opposition ranks that secular forces should come together against the BJP and not necessarily wait for the Congress to set its house in order and assume leadership. It comes days after Mamta Banerjee's uh, well-publicized Delhi visit and her minutely choreographed engagements with other leaders, including those from the Congress and NCP chief Sharad Pawar's meeting with a group of opposition leaders at his residence. But the larger message from Rahul's meeting was to his critics, including in-house who have often said he cannot fill mother Sonia Gandhi's shoes when it comes to engaging with seasoned opposition leaders that he is uh, reticent and unpredictable and does not enjoy a rapport with them. That may still hold true when it comes to Mayavati, Pawar, Mulayam Singh Yadav, Arvind K. Jival, or Banerjee for that matter. The AAP and BSP did not attend Tuesday's meeting. But through the breakfast diplomacy and by attending opposition talks in parliament in the last few days, Rahul has indicated that he is willing to engage with them. A top Congress leader said, the breakfast meeting was the brainchild of Rahul with uh, Malikarjun Kharge and Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary deputed to send out the invites. There is also a conscious effort to make the Pegasus Pyre controversy an issue of concern for the entire opposition with Rahul pointedly saying it was not about his phone being tapped.